Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Ridwanullah family. Welcome to a new episode of the Hussein Muhammad Show. I'm your host and life maximizer, Hussein Muhammad, working to help you completely maximize your life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, Verily, all praise and thanks are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, owner, and sustainer. And may the peace be without any associates or with... May the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon the most esteemed leader and most honorable teacher, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family, his companions, and those who follow him until the day of judgment. Allahumma ameen. Um, and inshallah, let me just quickly check on the audio. Uh, so YouTube seems to be good. Let me just check out Facebook real quick. Uh, I think Facebook is good, inshallah. Such a weird thumbnail. <laughs> Kind of caught me off guard, but it's all good. All right, so I think we're good to go, inshallah. Um, So in terms of, you know, the life maximization topics that I wanted to kind of address for today, um, you know, there's a little bit of a handful. Um, You know, in terms of the life maximization, you know, the top of the mind is the tragedy that happened here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, The three youth that were gunned down um, at a particular predicament um, kind of took, you know, the city by storm. Um, and unfortunately, gun violence is nothing new to our psyche and our situation and things of that nature. But um, for that, for, for it to happen to three either relatives or people who knew each other very well that are all from the same ethnic, ethnic background, um, for them to be Somali youth as well as Muslim youth, Um, It's a very, very tragic situation. Um, And, you know, that's something that our community, even to this day, well, it hasn't even been long, like probably a day or two is still trying to process and trying to make the most out of uh, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, and and, and that that gets you to think, like, how are you preparing uh, for your akhirah? And it's, it's a constant battle, to be honest with you. It's something that uh, we're always thinking about, we're always trying to uh, plan and prepare for and, um, and and do the best that we can. But there's definitely a lot of lessons to learn from it, right? Um, you know, the oldest of them was, uh, we, we were told that he was 18 and somebody even younger than that. And, you know, another one that was even, you know, somewhere around that age or even younger, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, it it, 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 it makes you realize how tragically and abruptly life can end at times um, and how how short life is and how we, you know, have to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before we are returned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, so, you know, the, it's, 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 it's something that we, we really have to take seriously, you know, just looking at the situations that our our, our youth are, are are in, it's 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 a tough tough predicament, right? Where the 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 country that they live in has not fully accepted them, and their family members don't understand them either and accepted them. So they're somewhere in that limbo. 
So they, they, they're trying to fit into a society that doesn't, that's not welcoming or good for uh, a Muslim Somali youth, right? Or any, any youth for that matter, but particularly for a, a Muslim Somali youth. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a very, very uh, tragic situation that we're all processing. But, you know, it's, it's a learning lesson. You know, we, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us these signs and symptoms. And we're trying to uh, figure out how we could best prepare and best help each other heal. You know what I mean? And I think the week before that, or probably even in the same week, uh, you know, we 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 got the um, unbelievable, or I shouldn't say unbelievable. You know, it's the qadr of Allah, may Allah subhanahu wa taala grant him jannah al firdoses, Muhammad al Sharif, um, who suddenly passed away. Um, things of that, things of that caliber and that capacity lets you know that we we sh we have to make sure that we we prepare for our akhirah. You know. The, the youth that got gunned down here gunned down here in Salt Lake City, Utah, is only a sign. You know, it's a painful sign. It's a very tragic sign. But at the end of the day, it is a sign that we have to correct our ways. We have to make sure that we're headed in the right direction and so much more. Um, so, you know, that's, that's something that, that's at the top of the mind that we should all continue to uh, think about, make du'a for, and uh, do the best that we can to support each other throughout these tough times. Um, and anybody who knew the family or was close to the family, um, you know, help them as much as you can. And if there's anything that we could particularly do uh, to help, uh, let us know, be the ta'ala, and we'll try to do the best that we can. And at the very least, which could be a part of the most important things that we can help them with, is make du'a for them, right? You know, constantly make du'a for them. And, um, you know, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them jannat al Um The You know, the other thing that's, you know, at the top of the mind in terms of uh, life maximization, because, you know, we, we talk about financial maximization on the first show, first show through, the, through, through the Ridwanullah show. Um, and on the Hussein Mahmoud show, we're, we're talking about a much broader topic, something that is, you know, about life, right? It, it touches on, you know, the financial and, and, and work aspects of life. And most and more, more and most importantly, you know, the dean and self part, uh, family and relatives, as well as the ummah and world. Um, and one of the things that I personally, in, in, in the work that I do, and in, 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 um, in my own personal aspects of my, per, you know, I, I don't know how to describe it. Like what I struggle with on my side of the equation, in addition to, or even before the work that I do is, um, you know, making sure that I, I set the right priorities, right. Um, and the right order of operation and things of that nature and, um, having a productivity system you know, just set out a blueprint, some sort of a blueprint slash construction plan uh, for my life. And, you know, it almost feels like, uh, I don't know if you consider damn uh, a bad word or not, but damned if I do, damned if I don't type of thing. Um, I don't know if it is a bad word or not, but just let me know, inshallah. But I guess the fact that I'm questioning it should be an answer in itself. But uh, like a catch-22, like, you know, whether I do it or not, I'm still in this sticky situation and I'm trying to find, you know, what is my priorities in life, right? You know, where does the finances and work fit in into the set priorities of life? You know, um, you know, I, I, whenever I get information from the scholars, you know, they tell me to put it as the last thing. But at the end of the day, when we wake up, the first thing that we see is work right we're, we're thinking about the money we're thinking about the work so there's got to be a way to uh, prioritize life that allows us to um you know have a stream like a, a an aligned and streamlined way of going about life maximization so that's that's something that's at the top of my mind as of right now 
that I'm working to figure out how to set the priorities in my life so I can actually execute each part as easy as I possibly can be the Ta'ala. So, you know, think about your value, your, your priorities in life, right? I, I like to tend, I, I tend to say values and priorities. Sometimes I think values and priorities are separate. Whereas my prior, my, my values is Dean and self, family and relatives, Ummah and world, and then finances and work. Um, but my priorities is finances and work, Dean and self, family and relatives, Ummah and world. Um, and, you know, that's something that you would have to consider and think about for yourself and make sure that you understand the, 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 the values and priorities that you have in your life. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a constant struggle because, you know, there's a lot of things that you have to work through on the macro level as well as the micro level for the whole system to make sense. Um, you know, and, and, and that's something that I'm constantly trying to figure out and elevate and trying to uh, do the best that I can uh, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you would have to make sure that you're setting your, va- your, your priorities right, as well as your values on top of that or before that as well by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, you know, I agree on the value sense that this is how we should value it, but I there's a little bit of discrepancy and disagreement on the priority sense. Whereas, you know, yeah, we're putting finances and work for it first because, you know, that's the first part of our days and weeks. Um, and, you know, for the most part, obviously, after Salat al-Fajr, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us with that. Um, but having your priorities straight is, is, is very, very crucial. Um, and, and in terms of your life maximization and your productivity and performance um, and everything else that uh, that you're trying to achieve by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, I don't know what the name is, Brother B. House, J. I don't know if those are like a full name or acronyms, but wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, Jazakumullah khair for tuning into the live uh, Hussein Mahmoud show uh, where we help you maximize your life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, you know, values and priorities is, is very, very crucial in your life. And, you know, I would even tell you the reason why you're not achieving your goals and dreams at least sufficiently is simply because you don't have set values and priorities in your life. So if you've had set values and priorities of your life and you know all of the other parts of your blueprint and construction plan, um, you know you would have a better idea, you would have a level of consistency um, and things of that nature that you could utilize and, and, and improve uh, within your life. But the thing is, you know one day you're focused on this, the next day, that's not the main thing that you're focused on. Now you're focused on something else as the first thing. And they're always kind of shifting and shuffling and everything else that you can imagine. But you really have to have a blueprint and a construction plan, right? And, and actually put in the work to construct, you know, the, the, the vision and dreams that you have for your life uh, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, that's another thing that that's you know uh, at the top of the mind. Um, one other thing that it's, it's it's a constant battle for me that I'm I'm constantly trying to get on top of is um, you know in terms of the health and fitness realm is the diet and exercise. You know the the poor diet is 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 very very harmful to your life maximization. Lack of exercise or poor exercise is also detrimental to your life maximization. It really, really wreaks havoc in that. So, you know, for me, I'm trying to figure it out. It's it's one of my, uh, you know, I guess aside, the, the weaknesses that I have in my life is, you know, the values and priorities is definitely one of them. Financial maximization is another. The other one would be... Uh, 
what I just talked about right now, uh, health and fitness uh, maximization. Um, and last but not least, toxic relationship maximization. Um, if I could figure out how to, you know, resolve and 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 I don't want to say dissolve, but that's just my poetic mind coming into effect. Um, but you know, I I, I really want to be able to take care of these four major parts of my life, and you know, I would say roughly about eighty percent of the painful problems and challenges that I experience in my life is one way or the other in one of those categories or the other, or combination of them. So, um, you know, the, the diet and exercise, you know, I'm, I'm very sporadic. You know, I try to drink a lot of water as much as I can. I try to get as much sleep as I can. Um, my diet, you know, it's, it's it, <laughs> it, one day I'm, I'm eating the, you know, veggies and fruits and vegetables and I'm drinking plenty of water and not drinking any, you know, the next day I'm eating junk food all of the sauces and all of the, you know, the everything that you could imagine, which is almost like uh, a very, very bad predicament. So I'm trying to find a disciplined, consistent approach. And then, you know, I think the reason why I really want to be able to get my health and fitness to a sufficient level consistently is simply because I feel like, you know, with the consistent level of health and fitness, That'll stop all the turbulence within my physical health and fitness where I could actually focus a lot of my energy and effort. And I would actually have energy and effort for, you know, the, the goals and dreams that I have, whether it's financial or all other parts of my life. Um, and it, 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 it's, it's a constant, constant battle. And, you know, there's a lot of emotional eating one way or the other and so many other things that kind of go along with that. Uh, the pandemic and recession has definitely not helped much, but, you know, it's it's something that I'm really trying to figure out um, how to uh, get control of that and make sure that I'm uh, on top of my uh, diet and exercise to be on top of my um, health and fitness. So if you guys have any particular tips on how to improve my diet and exercise so I could actually improve my health and fitness and other parts of my health and fitness that I can improve. Any tips, any recommendations, any resources, uh, please let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll be more than happy to look into that. The main one that I was pondering is, you know, years back, I was researching the, 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 the diet and exercise regimen of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And one of the most important lessons that I picked up that I utilized for a short while, but didn't really utilize for a long time, is that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam only ate when he was hungry. So he did not eat when he was not hungry, you know. And sadly, I don't even remember last time I was actually physically hungry. I would get emotionally hungry and just go ham on the food, you know. And it's it's not a good look, I'm telling you. It's not a good look. Bismillah. But, you know... I remember when, when I was only eating when I was actually physically hungry and not emotionally hungry, I realized I felt a lot of clarity in my mind, body, and soul, right? I didn't, like, my, my mind was not, you know, foggy and cloggy and, like, like you know, I, I, I had a lot of room to, like, think and process things and my emotions had, you know, capacities and capabilities and my my body felt good, right? I I I didn't feel heavy, you know, and, and things of that nature. And my 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 spirit felt good because you know it wasn't being weighed down by my mind and body and things of that nature. So <laughs> uh so keep that in mind, inshallah. Um, that your diet and exercise really, really, really does work wonders for your life by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it impacts so many different things that um that that could really really help you in your life by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fadhiz is in the building through uh, uh through Instagram. I'm not even trying to see, read his his comment. He's starting off with Bisinka. So that's how you know that this ain't gonna go well. So he already knows me way too way too much. You post any personal information on 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 on, on here, I'm gonna come find you, bro. Don't even play with me. 
<laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. He said, Bisinka, I'm on the drive through just <laughs> slowly pulling away, shaking my head, just realizing I'm not hungry. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So you're not coming at me with it. You're coming at yourself. Man, it, it's a serious thing online, man. I know you're going to circle back right after the episode like I would normally do. <laughs> but... um. Yeah, man. Like it, it really, really impacts your, 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 your mind, body, and spirit, like on, on a whole different level. So, you know, that's one of the things that is, is going to be crucial for me personally, because I know, you know, once I take control of this part of my life, which is the non-financial, non-material aspects of my life, which my diet and exercise and things like that will start to impact I know that this side of my life, the financial and material aspects of my life will start to improve as well by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, there's people who don't really struggle with those things and there's people who struggle with it really, really bad. So, you know, I'm, I'm not one of those who struggle with it really, really bad, but I struggle with it a decent amount, um, you know, along with the financial and material aspects of life. I'm trying to make sure the non-financial, non-material aspects of life is in a great position as well, whether it's, you know, mental, physical, spiritual health and fitness and everything else that kind of goes along with that. You know, sometimes we get so stuck in working for a living that we actually forget to develop the things that actually contribute to life. So, Fadhiza, you're not alone, bro. I'm telling you, man, it's it's... It's a, it's a hell of a hell of a journey, man. Every single day, emotionally eating, overeating, binge eating, you know, eating for fun, eating because it's time. All of those things are not G double O D. You know what I mean? But um, but inshallah, you know, just think about you know what what you're putting into your body and the nutrients. Um, I I started to realize like uh, I started to incorporate a lot more fruits and vegetables into my diet. Uh, which sounds not so good, but I, I did it in a way that I like. But I'm still killing some of these uh, 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 junk food, you know what I mean? Sodas and chips and pizzas and cookies and cakes and carrot cakes and cheesecakes. Like, I could go on forever, but it's it's one of those things that um, is it, it, really, really crucial to, uh, you know, get get a little bit of... of um, of a handle on bidin illahi ta'ala. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brother. Brother is up, uh, chopping it up on Facebook. Jazakallah khair for showing love. I appreciate all of y'all for showing love. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. But, you know, the diet and exercise is very, very crucial. Uh, it's one of those things that uh, it's it's a constant battle. Um, it it really impacts how you think, how you feel, and all of these things. And um, you know, I'm, I, one of my one of my major goals is to make sure that I, I get get that some level of under control. Um, you know, I, I I don't know if there's any other things that I wanted to talk about as of right now. Um, I'm sure there there's always you know something new. And I'm, you know, I'm trying to think about it from the non-financial, non-material aspects of life. Um, you know, one of the things that really come up for me in terms of the life maximization aspects of it, um, it's twofold, right? Uh, and 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 the first part is your emotional intelligence. And I'm not trying to, you know, speak some high-level stuff and all of this craziness, but it's just basically how you feel, right? So your emotional intelligence and all of the different aspects of it really, really is important to understand what you're feeling, why you're feeling that way, and where it actually originated from. So you can actually correct these things by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and the other thing that really impacts your emotional well-being, your emotional intelligence, is the aspect of, um, what you call it? the boundaries, you know, a lot of people, if boundaries is a new term to you, um, you got a lot of work to do because if you don't have boundaries in your life, it's very, very hard, um, to, to live 
uh, an emotionally healthy and fit life, right? Um, you know, and, and I've seen, I've actually coached a couple of people through their anger problems. Um, you know, one person really was just fighting a war, internal war and didn't really understand why. So just helping him tame his anger problems was a, a very, very crucial part of his life, his well-being, right? He's, he's not snapping at people and things of nature and everything else that kind of goes along with that. But a lot of the, the things that I'm looking in hindsight is that, you know, it was a boundary issue. You know, we we don't we have a hard time telling people no. We have a hard time telling people stop. We have a hard time putting people back in their places, whatever that may mean for you. You know, some people have that entitlement that, you know, the, the, you know, that whole concept of misery loves company where some people are so miserable and we get there ourselves on certain occasions as well. No, no, you know, no harm, no foul. But at the end of the day, it's like you cannot be a crutch for other people. And, and so what the sad part is that you've been used as a crutch for so long that you actually need a crutch yourself where you take out your anger and your problems out on other people. So, you know, that's another thing that really, really impacts the quality and quantity of your life and how you're living. Um, and, you know, that's just something that's always at the top of my mind. Um, and that's why the uh, the, the, the diet and exercise is a major part about it because I remember, I think for, for at least a month, uh, one of my, uh, uh, close friends, we were just going out hiking pretty much daily, every single day, except I think Friday, you know, we were hiking and, you know, we were doing like crazy stuff, like three to six miles, seven miles, uh, of uphill hiking up a mountain, you know, and, and, um, and, Alhamdulillah, I stopped. Unfortunately, I stopped. But Alhamdulillah, I'm still reaping the rewards of the work that I put in then. You know what I mean? Like the, the quality and quantity of my mental, physical, and spiritual health, for the most part, is slowly but surely improving. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's important to be proactive with your well-being, your health and fitness, and all of these different elements of it that I'm talking about. Um, you know, and one of the things that really, really saves, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, me from a lot of health and physical damages is I drink plenty of water, like a lot of water. And I've seen some family and friends who recently had um, some major, major health issues, whether it's panic attacks, um, dehydration, uh, I don't want to say malnutrition, but um, something along the lines of bad diet. Um, you know, a lot of stuff that's happening is simply because the pH level in their body, the toxicity in their body is way higher than what the body could handle and the body breaks down. I'm not too far away from that, unfortunately, but, you know, I try to balance with all the junk that I eat and drink with a lot of water so it could, you know, dilute uh, the negative effects that it could have on my body. And it gives me some level of hydration, some level of um, you know, uh, continuity in terms of fighting sicknesses and diseases. So, you know, just as this is just a quick topic on the financial aspects of it, just as you need uh, boundaries in your non-financial, non-material aspects of your life, you also need boundaries in your financial and material aspects of your life, right? Um, and figure out how to improve in that capacity and and, and, and and do the best that you possibly can be then Allah ta'ala. Um, but other than that, I think that's where I'm gonna end for today, be the Allah ta'ala. Um, I don't have I mean obviously there's always a lot more on the mind than than there is time. But for the most part, those are all the things that I really wanted to share with you guys. Um, so you could actually continuously work towards maximizing your life. Um, and this show, the Hussein Mahmoud show, is dedicated on is dedicated to helping you maximize the non-financial, non-material aspects of your life on top of you know the financial and material aspects of your life by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, let's see. 
Looks like Fathiza commented again. He said, I don't know if you like me calling Fathiza in public. Fathi, my bad, son. <laughs> how, do you, how do you diet without feeling deprived from food? Please, <laughs> please don't say cheat days because I can never come back. <laughs> I can never come back from a cheat day. <laughs> oh man. But like, bro, I, I, I'd be a total hypocrite to sit here and act like I don't I have the answer for you. Because unfortunately, every day is a cheat day for me as well. Um, but I, I think the 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 best thing that I could advise right now is it, it, I, I Man, yeah, this is a hard one, man. How how do you how do you diet without feeling deprived? I, I think the the important part is understand the source of your feeling deprived, uh, because I, in all honesty, it's nothing more than a feeling. And one of the things that I realized for myself personally that I'm looking to improve on is these are also tricks in, of the shaitan, right? He makes you think that it's a life and death situation when it, the truth is as far away from it. So you have to use the tr the tricks of the shaitan against the shaitan. So he's making us feel like, you know, it's a life and death situation if we don't shove our face with food, right? So the, the tool here is to use that against them to say, it's a life and death situation if we continue to shove food down our face. So that's one of the psychological tricks and tips that, I'm personally starting to become aware of and starting to utilize. Um, and and the other thing is just do it gradually. Uh, I think that's one of the, the game plans that I'm thinking about implementing in my uh, health and fitness journey is just gradually improving, right? Obviously, sometimes you have to go to a certain extreme to make sure that you shock your system into doing good so it can never go back to doing bad, essentially. But you also want to make sure that it's a sustainable change. You don't want to make changes too quickly um, to a point where you can't sustain those changes. Um, other than that, one the, some of the things that's kind of been really, really helpful for me is I just, like I mentioned, I've been incorporating a little bit more uh, fruits and vegetables into my diet. Um, I realized I can't really eat all the food that I need and want within a day. So I'm trying to alternate. So one day I would eat, you know, mostly veggies and uh, regular food. And then the other day I would eat mostly uh, fruits and regular food and things of that nature. So that's kind of been really, really helpful. Um, the other thing is to check what your health and fitness goal is. Like for me, obviously, is to lean up and try to lose weight. Obviously, it's been like the forever goal. But really knowing what your goals are and think about why you want to achieve it and then try to craft a game plan on achieving it. And a lot of us discredit those basic foundations of achievement that we actually never get to achieve those goals and dreams. So I think I've, I've overextended my advice. That's all I got, man. Anything after that, I really got to figure out how to implement it into my own life and do better myself. But, you know, we're, we're both here uh, trying to do the best that we can be. But I, I hope that helps. And, uh, you know, if you find anything that works for you, man, shoot me a text or a call, man. Anything would definitely help. If I find anything else that's working, I'll let you know as well. Um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I really appreciate uh, some of the OGs uh, showing up on the live. Um, this is not technically like a Q&A session, but, you know, whenever I get a chance and I have the opportunity to answer, then I'll go ahead and answer it. But on Wednesdays, inshallah, that's when you can shoot me your questions and I'll try to do the best that I can to answer those for you. Um, but yeah, you know, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on the youth that, you know, lost their lives, the three Somali youth that lost their lives here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, you know, make sure that you, 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 you try to do the best that you can, rem remembering death and preparing for it as best as you can. Um, and, you know, keep all these topics that I mentioned in mind, you know what I mean? Um, uh, the, the priorities is very, very important. Um, diet and diet and exercise is crucial for your well-being um, and so many other things. But, you know, th this is just some of the things that you have to keep in mind, your emotional well-being, as well as the boundaries that protect your emotional well-being and everything else that kind of goes along with that. 
So with that, I say, Jazakumullah khair. Uh, really appreciate the life maximizers for showing up on the Hussein Mahmoud show. I'm your host and life maximizer, Hussein Mahmoud, checking out by saying, never ever give up on completely maximizing your life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.